All right, let's jump into college football futures. We love gambling. We also love football. We love we love sports. And you know who sports. else loves sports? Tunica Sportsbooks. Because they let you gamble on just about anything. You can find more information on their six sports books over at tunicatravel.com. Go check that bad boy out. Let's jump in. As of February 8th at the Westgate in Vegas, this is what the odds were to win the national championship in 2019. All right? Now, I understand it is, we're in February. It's early. We're still in college basketball season. Like, we hadn't even made it to spring practice yet. But these are the odds they have laid out. We're going to go through them. Let's go from 15 up to, nah, you know what? We know what the top teams are. We'll, we'll go backwards. How's that? Clemson 2-1. to one. Just about to say. Not surprising, right? Nope. Uh, now, when we talk about the S&P projections here in a little bit, you might be a little surprised by that. But uh, Alabama 5-2. to two. They're the second uh, lowest odds. The third one was not the third one before. They were fourth, and then they moved up. Okay. Um, they just moved from four to three. That's yeah. Okay. Well, and and even still, they and Georgia still have the same odds. It's it's eight this, to one. It's Ohio State. This is and this is strictly probably betting perspective. You've got an entire state with a large national fan base betting on one team. And Justin Fields Moving is. Money. Well, not even that. Justin Fields was ruled eligible, and yeah, that's what but, that's what shifted. Okay, that's fine. Um, Georgia eight to one. Okay, I mean, I I could see it, right? Like this is this is supposed to be Kirby's year. Okay, Ohio State at eight to one. I'm a little. I don't know. I mean, I, do we know what to expect from Ryan Day? We have no idea, right? No. Do we know what to expect from the defense? That wasn't good last year. No, I mean they lost they hired a coordinator. Uh, no, they lost. Uh, Gre- well, they fired Greg Schiano. They lost Alex Greenwich, and then they hired one of Jim Harbaugh's guys. Yeah, which is a little crazy. Yeah, it's a little weird. A little weird. Did you hear that story? Ryan Day called Jim Harbaugh to ask him if he could interview one of his assistants. Like normally, you just call the school. Yeah. But Day called Harbaugh, and it's... That's a classy move. It's definitely a classy move, I'm but okay like between those two schools, Urban Meyer would have never done that. No. And I don't think Harbaugh would have done that either. No. So, it but takes it, balls. Yeah. I mean, it's it definitely takes balls. Uh, fifth is Michigan at 14-1. to That surprise you? No. They're a really good defense. Their defensive I mean, coordinator... I they got Shea Patterson coming their back. Their defensive coordinator didn't take a head coaching job. They're going to be a top-five team this year. I thought they were all last year. That that defense is going to keep them in games. Yeah, yeah. You're as long right. as the same guys call on defense and they continue to have the talent Don that Brown. on that side of the football, then then that's not going anywhere. Uh, the next few might surprise you. Okay. There's one team I'm missing that I thought would be in the top. What was that top five? Top five. No, I guess they're not, but they would be in this next section. If they're not here, I'm going to be shocked. Texas is 25 to one. Okay. Nebraska. Holy shit. At 30 to 1. Wow, really? Yeah. 30 to wow. 1. Wow. Same odds <laughs> Am as I missing something? Uh same odds as these other teams. Washington 30 to 1, Florida 30 to 1, Notre Dame 30 to 1 and Oregon. So 30 we're to talking 1. just just really loving Scott Frost. Yeah. I mean, that just has to be it, right? Oh, that's absolutely it. I mean, they didn't, like, slip and fall and wake up with, like, North Dakota State's national championship team as a roster, right? Like, no. I don't think they're that – are they no, good? No, it's, it's, they... the, it's the same roster, and uh, the recruiting was – Okay. Like, okay. good, not great? Like, yeah, like – It's oh. it's strange, right? Now, that's, I will say that's... this. Like, they got hot towards the end of last season. They won This what? is one of those – can I bet the field? Can I bet against and just lay a shitload of odds? Well, I mean, you you can bet against in their division. I, I mean, because they still got Wisconsin, they still got uh, Northwestern, Northwestern, baby, the reigning yeah. champs of the West. So, I mean, there's there's still teams that you know. That's shocking to me. Yeah, Nebraska at thirty to one was bananas because like they all. they got to fix that defense up pretty well. Uh, Washington thirty to one, not surprising. No, Jacob Eason's going to be starting this year. Florida thirty to one. No, that's – no, I don't like that either. Now – That's ridiculous. Well, well – That's ridiculous. Maybe – I mean, maybe it's not. Okay. 
Maybe it's not. Right. Um, but we'll talk about that in the the S and P stuff. Uh, Notre Dame thirty to one. That was a little bit shocking because I felt like they lost a lot on defense. I'm I'm crazy shocked that a big boy school with a big boy budget, a big boy recruiting class, and a big boy the biggest boy coach paycheck wise wasn't in the top ten. Well, wasn't in the top eleven. They're not even in the eleven. So who's eleven? Well, eleven was Oregon at thirty to one. Oh, there. So that was eleven. So are are they twelve? Well, let's let's roll through. Okay. Texas A and M. That's it. Forty to one. That's somebody I thought. You're talking about just how odds work, fan bases. It's all about betting perspective. It's not really always how they think it's going to wash out. I cannot believe Nebraska was like thirty eighth? thirty to one. No, they were seventh. Seventh. Well, it tied for seventh, okay. right? So, and 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 A and M is forty to one 12. behind Oregon, Florida, Notre Dame, Washington, and Nebraska. I would. Notre Dame might be the only other one that I would give an now, opportunity I, to. I'll tell you this because you haven't looked at the schedule yet. I haven't looked at anything. You're right. A and M schedule is brutal. Okay, that they, could have a they lot play, to do with it. They play Georgia the week before they play LSU to end the season. Okay, that's tough. So and then and then if they were to get to the SEC championship They'll game, replay Georgia or Florida probably. Yeah, so. I mean it. It is unless my fighting must champs have a it chance. Is, it is brutal this season. Their schedule that's did not, not set up well. They also play. At Clemson this year, like t- Texas A&M is all tough. All right, all right. This is not the year to go all in on Jimbo. No, okay, no. I have. You're right. I have not even thought about next year's schedule. So, we, and but we will get there. Okay. We're gonna be doing a whole lot of That's, preview stuff this year. That is brutal, man. Yeah, I mean they, they got to go to. But Athens here's what's crazy and, though. You take all of those games right there. If they just go 500, they ruin two team season. Oh yeah. I mean they don't win it, but they take two. But they people take it away from somebody with else. Them. Yeah. So I mean they they got Alabama coming to Caulfield. That's that's but they got to go to Baton Rouge. Two I believe they got to go to Athens and, and then two Clemson. And then two oh, Clemson. That is yeah. a three game. No, I'm sure they don't play those back to back to back. But it doesn't no, matter. no, 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 no. Those they, three road games. Clemson is the second weekend of the season. Alabama's okay. right in the middle, and then Georgia and LSU, I believe, are back to back. Oh, all it's, right. It's that's, bad juju. That's why Jimbo's got such a big yeah. odds. All yeah. right. Uh, Wisconsin at sixty to one. I'd still take them over Nebraska with that schedule. Yeah, uh, LSU sixty to one and Auburn sixty to one. I was surprised at LSU sixty to one. They returned the quarterback. They returned the running back. They returned the receivers. They they return a lot of guys yeah, this year. It doesn't matter. Um, they know they got to go to. They know that we can't beat Bama. Got to go to Bryant Denny this year. Yeah. Uh, Auburn at sixty to one is a little intriguing. The fact that they don't have a quarterback though. Uh, Gus, never, I never worry about Auburn's quarterback situation with Malzahn. Uh, I'm not an Auburn fan, so I'm not the guy that wants Malzahn gone constantly. I think he's a really good coach. Yeah. And and I I like his offenses for the most part, and I never worry about the quarterback situation. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. He's uh, going to find one, and they're going to be really good. Teams that were not on this list. That should have made a list? That, that, should, have, that should have been on okay. here, I think. Uh, Oklahoma, like they didn't even list odds. Oh wow! Um, I mean, they got Jalen Hurts at quarterback, and they got like a lot of talent. There's on no offense. reason they should not still win the the Big Twelve. I, I mean, it depends on Texas, Texas right? That's it. So, You're right. But, You're right about that. You're right. About that. But outside of that, like, I there's mean, nobody do we, else. Do we gonna... see Oklahoma State this being the year that they make that leap? No. I mean, I you know, is TCU going to turn things around? I you know, I don't know. I don't but, know either. I, uh, I can't imagine why they wouldn't make this this list. I was uh, I was a little surprised they didn't have anything for um, Penn State. Now Penn State obviously replacing quarterback and I was whatnot. Just about but to say, didn't they replace uh, Trace McSorley? McSorley, yeah. Um, Missouri, Utah, South Carolina, like all these, no no chance for those guys. Uh, Oklahoma State was not on it. UCF was not on it. Yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, a little. I mean, it was just kind of surprising that it's. It's really limited to like fifteen teams. Can you see anybody outside of these fifteen teams that actually can win it? I mean, aside from Oklahoma, no. But oh, I, I don't no, Oklahoma's, think Oklahoma's legit. That's, I don't that think shouldn't, that, they shouldn't have been. Nebraska absolutely should be punted into the sun. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't understand the Nebraska. Well, I'd have I, Iowa on here before I'd have Nebraska. 
Well, I mean, Kurt you know Ferentz Kurt is, Ferentz a, does, Kurt Ferentz is a grown ass man. No, you're right. You're right. And Nate you, Stanley's you question, coming back. You 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 doubt Kurt Ferentz? That's he made you he, a lot of money last year. He certainly did. He towards the end though, he started losing me some. That's he fine. Was, that's fine. But that's it, okay. it's but he made of, a lot early. It's part of the game. Um, but yeah, like I, Iowa every now and then has one of those seasons where if everything right, just right breaks now, right. right now, just not knowing anything about these teams other than what we know already. So we haven't seen spring practice. We don't know what their freshmen are going to look. We don't know any of that stuff. We know what the teams looked like last year, and we're assuming, you know, eighty percent of it's coming back. You would have Iowa over Nebraska to win that conference, right? Yeah. Okay. That's. Yeah. Like, absolutely. Like that's what I'm saying. I don't think Iowa belongs on this list, but that's but how Nebraska far. Showed that's how far back Nebraska list. does. Belong. We're gonna get some Nebraska hate. Yeah, and that'll be okay. Oh, yeah, uh, but but I'm, I'm not afraid of that. But but Nebraska, like now, part of this might be so many people like betting on them. That's it. I wonder is it because they got really of, hot at the end of last a season. A lot of Adrian people Martinez pumping money center. in them, and now we got to put them on the board. I mean that that might be it. I mean you remember the Raiders uh, last year or two years ago, whatever, got so much love they were like the Super Bowl favorites. Yeah. Didn't even make the playoffs. No, no. Like had no. had no prayer. Change coaches. Like all that kind of mess. It was a disaster. But it's you know, when when people pump money in, it obviously changes the odds. Nebraska is not the seventh best team in college football. Uh I'm now, really, now watch them so watch them go out and go I was undefeated. So excited and about A and M this year. And then then I didn't realize they had to play And then I told you their schedule. Georgia and Clemson. That sucks. Well, and then I mean they still got Auburn that's coming to Well they've Station. they've got the rest of the SEC that's their yeah. normal schedule. But they got Georgia and Clemson Georgia and, and Alabama Clemson. and, well, and Bama, going to bad Bama, LSU, Auburn, that's all part of it. Ole Miss will do well, but something it, weird. See, State might be good. Part of it know. is like so. so many road games, right? That's it. Like at Clemson, at Georgia, at LSU. Yeah, those those three. Just those, just those Ooh. three. If those are the only three games you play on the road, that, that ain't fun. That's, that's not fun at all. Uh, yeah, so that, that wraps up the college football national championship futures. Leave your comments below. Tell us if we missed somebody. It, I mean, should Boise State be on this list? Should no. should, <laughs> should UCF be on the list? Probably, Probably not. not. Probably not. Yeah. I mean, even but, but even. Hang on. UCF should be on this list more than Nebraska. No, I don't. I mean, Listen, I know I had some Texas people hating me. Yeah, but there's no reason for Nebraska to be on this list. No, you you probably right. You probably. I right. like and no, I like Scott Frost. But come on, man. If you like any of these, go down to Tunica, to do. put your bets in. Tunicatravel.com is the place to find more information about their six sports books. You can find more information about us, our previews, our picks, our daily podcast, uh, our YouTube stuff, everything else over at winningcureseverything.com. Help your boy out, share the show out, leave some comments. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.